All right, we get lots of calls from folks about how to fill a ProRock 44 correctly with the right amount of oil. You're going to see how simple this really is. What throws everybody off is the two fill holes. There's a large one and a small one. The large one is for adding oil. The small one is just for setting the level of the oil. Remove both of the screws, both of the fill plugs, and start filling oil into the large fill plug. Do this when it's under the vehicle and at the correct pinion angle that you intend to run at. When you see oil coming out of the small fill hole, that's it. You're done. It's ready to go. Put both plugs in, wipe it off with a rag, go have some fun. All right, so let's talk about gear oil. There's different grades, there's different types, there's synthetics, there's mineral-based, and there's also different viscosities. Let's just talk about synthetic versus mineral-based. We recommend mineral-based for just about all our customers unless you have a very, very specialized application. The reason for this is there are some synthetic oils that have properties that interrupt the natural flow of oil inside the housing. So to be safe, let's just stick with mineral-based. It does a great job. Second, let's talk about viscosity. 85140, 8590, both of these will work really well anywhere in North America and in most places around the globe. If you're in Alaska or a very cold climate, stick with the 8590 or 7590. Those will do a great job. If you're in the west or hot areas of the country, then the 85140 is a better choice. It's going to maintain a higher viscosity at those higher temperature levels in those desert situations.